Hello everyone, it's the end of the day on Saturday, the last day of VidCon. And I'm taking a super flattering angle from the bed because I don't care. <laughs> uh, it, was a, it was another roller coaster day. It was really, mostly it was really good. Um, you know, I went to those panels and such um, as evening came, like... I don't know, I'm not trying to just, like, complain for no reason, but the feeling of inclusiveness and everything with YouTube kind of ends as soon as the the panels end, and, you know, like, the fangirls have their posses to stick with, and the big, big wig YouTubers all disappear to their secret parties, but people like me in the middle, we don't really have anywhere to go. <laughs> um, I spend most of the time with Marcus... Again, um, we found one of the, the, the conference rooms upstairs and we shot the video that we fought, shot yesterday again. And this time um, he had made friends with this camera guy uh, who had his camera there and was there advertising his, uh, I don't know what you call it, like little, like basically a bunch of different kind of creative people, not YouTubers, but people with different creative talents like graphic design and camera work and stuff um I, I guess they're like for hire I don't know his name is um Jason Liebman yes Jason Liebman and he, he goes like Jay Leaps or something like that anyway we became Facebook friends so yeah um <laughs> but we shot the video again and the second time it actually came out a lot um more cohesive I think uh we had to stop filming in the middle because he also had made friends with this sound engineer lady, whose name I don't remember, but she came up and looked at his stuff on the the computer because he thought that the audio had been ruined on all his little Vine things that he shot of various YouTubers um, for his Vine project, Marcus's, and um, she was able to fix the sound. So we probably didn't actually have to record re-record the thing, but the second version is much better. Um... And the the cameraman let Marcus download the stuff off onto his computer. And then Marcus was going to go from the computer to my thumb drive. But Marcus forgot to bring his laptop charger and his laptop ran out of battery. So he'll have to Dropbox it when he gets back to Las Vegas. Which he actually is going to leave his apartment or his hotel room at 2 this morning. Like not go to bed and take the Uber back. And um because uh, it's from the LAX and it's like an hour drive from here and he's going to have to take the Uber which is he said about 50 bucks so that sucks but I wanted to offer him a ride but it, it's an hour away and an hour back <laughs> and I'm just like I already have to pick up before I go to Disney Day um, but anyway so we shot the video again and then we were just kind of hanging around in the Hilton lobby because this year, and it'll, maybe it'll be different again next year, but this year, basically, as long as you're not screaming or stampeding and you have the creator badge, uh, you're allowed into the lobby. But again, who knows what it'll be next year. Um, anyway, we started wandering around, trying to find people to talk to, like, make new make new connections or just, you know, make new friends. Didn't really see anyone I knew there. Um, but I did see... <laughs> see, like... They always say, like, don't shit, off, shit talk other YouTubers. Always be positive, blah, blah, blah. But I do feel like I have to get this off my chest. I'm not saying any names. Because, uh, honestly, I don't even know the name of this person. But basically, anyway. So there was this this tall, skinny, white girl with blonde hair, which could describe any number of YouTubers. Um, probably a beauty guru. She had, like, designer clothing on and super nice makeup. Anyway. And when I saw her, I thought she was Candy Johnson, which is another makeup guru who um, uh, Faith and I had become friends with at Playlist. I mean, kind of friends. We hung out a little bit. Um, and so I went up to this girl and I said, excuse me, are you Candy? And she goes, no, sorry. So I said, oh, okay, sorry. And then I saw her nose ring, which was all bejeweled. And I leaned in and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. She goes, thank you. And then I walked away. Um, and allegedly, as I walked away, uh, Marcus heard her friend say, what was that? And then heard the tall chick tell her friend, oh, she was just molesting me. <laughs> and 
And uh, Marcus said that he's pretty sure that that's what she said. And I'm just kind of like flabbergasted because I'm like, well, was she kidding? Because if she was kidding, that's not really, it's still not a nice thing to say. And like, I didn't, I didn't touch her. I didn't say anything mean to her. I complimented her. I was just like, Are you candy? Nope. Oh, nice, nice, nose ring. Okay, thanks. Bye. Like, what? I don't understand how it was called for, like, and Marcus does not think she was kidding. He thinks that she sounded, you know, bitchy. And I'm just, by and large, every single YouTuber I ever talked to, you know, the old bees, the newbies, whatever, they're nice. They might not necessarily, like, they probably think, let you know, oh, you're not famous, so you're not worth talking to. But for the most part, they don't really act that way. They act nice. They they say, like, oh, hey, how you doing, you know, blah, 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 they act engaged they won't remember you undoubtedly but they just don't they don't act mean so it's just kind of flabbergasting is that a word flabbergasting <laughs> to meet uh, a youtuber who is so condescending and and to a total stranger i've never met her i've never seen her videos she obviously has no idea who i am like i, I don't know it's just the the ego behind that and it just it makes me sad because, you know, I mean, we all know that YouTube has changed and is ever-changing and, you know, what was a lot of subscribers at the beginning of YouTube is nothing now and, you know, they just came out with the Diamond Play Button Award for 10 million subscribers and it's just like, so many numbers, uh, what do they mean? Um, but you still, you don't really, like, you the, the meanness that's so commonplace online you really generally don't see in person. At least not, you know, not that I've seen, not at the conventions and whatnot. Um, anyway, so it just sucks because I keep thinking about it and it's like, you know, for all the good things that I've experienced this weekend and I've tried really hard to focus on the good, just something like that happens and it just really takes the, the air out of you and makes you go, well, I don't want to be a famous YouTuber if I have to deal with that kind of shit. You know, I don't want to turn into that. And also, I don't know. I, like, feel like I lost pretty much all my fire to start. Like, yeah, I feel, you know, I was saying I feel more inspired to just focus on quality and enjoying the video making process and stuff and not worrying about if anyone's watching it. But I don't know. There's just so many people making YouTube videos and, and so many of them doing it for the wrong reasons aka fame and fortune and I, mean, I so miss the old days of youtube i miss i miss you know when as the old bees now often say when there was no like fate there's no such thing as famous youtuber like it was just something that you did for fun and or to commiserate with other symbol you know like-minded people and that side of youtube still exists it's just People ignore it because uh, everybody wants to be like the famous people. Eh? And it's it cheapens YouTube because it's just like the freaking movie and TV and everything other media business where, you know, people move to L.A., they want to be actors, they step on everybody. And <sighs> YouTube is our chance to be different from fucking Hollywood, from, you know, the the expected shallowness and like act really nice on the surface and then turn around and stab people in the back so you can get ahead of them like youtube is people in their bedrooms even even now even with all the famousness that goes behind it it's still for many many channels even these million sub channels ultimately boils down to someone recording videos in their bed in their bedroom and it's just such an inconsistency to have that and yet, act like Tom Cruise. I just, uh, I, uh, I'm trying not to do it. It's really hard not to. But anyway, so I'm home alone in the hotel room right now. Um, all the roommates are out at I don't know stuff, VidCon prom or something like that. They're all hanging out. Um, I'm gonna get to sleep because tomorrow's a Disney day. I'm gonna pick up a var. We're gonna go there. Akila says she's also gonna do, go to Disney day. I'm gonna try to see if I can get her to let me hang out with her. She's been like been hard to get a hold of her all all weekend um i mean she is she's reached 10, 10 000 subscribers so she's probably like inundated with with everyone wanting to hang out with her and i'm not i'm trying not to take it personal or anything but it's just kind of sad because i you know we hung out 
for that, like, almost an entire day at Comic-Con, and I was hoping that, I don't know, I was hoping that we could hang out a little bit more this weekend. I mean, she lives in New York, so it's not going to get any other chance to see her in person, but that's the problem. You know, I should know this from dealing with Steam Power Draft, but uh, it's the problem with trying to be friends with famous people is even if they don't mean to snub you, they're they're so busy all the time that unless you're, like, in a band with them or, you know, you work for them or you're, like, just just some way of being guaranteed to see them all the time, um, they don't really... Your friendships fall apart really fast. And, you know, if you try to pressure them into hanging out, then they feel like, you know, you, you want them for something or... I don't know. I, I, I shouldn't cast this version. I have no idea what they want. Anyway, um... So, I don't know if this is the last video film. I really I have to check how much time I have left to even record. Um, I don't really want to spend a lot of time recording tomorrow while we're on the rides and stuff. I want to be enjoying what we're doing. <sighs> we're going to dress light and not worry about like looking pretty so much as we did before. And I'm probably going to have to pay for another fucking day of parking, which is another $24. Ugh. But, um... At least Devara is coming, so I won't be alone. I'm homesick. I miss my husband. I miss my bed. I miss not having noisy roommates. I mean, they're cool and all, but they're noisy and messy <laughs> and young. Um, and I still, you know, I want to buy a house and have a recording studio for one of the days that I do feel like making videos and have a uh, have a pool, have a place to work on arts and crafts. It'd be really nice. Good night. <laughs>